One year ago, my life was nothing like it is today. Last year, I was underweight, skinny as fuck, didn't have a lot of friends, very unhappy, going through a breakup, and now I'm living my best life and I'm still a skinny legend. Hey, bitch, what's up, bitch? Suck my dick, bitch. Ladies and genitals, welcome back to my daily motion channel. What are we talking about today? I have short term memory loss. No, I don't. Manifesting it away. I have the best memory on planet Earth. Today we're discussing how I changed my life in one year. It's really only recently when, when I was thinking that in comparison to where I was this time last year, it is so different and I am absolutely like living part of my dream life. You know, there's still like aspects of my life which need working on, but if one year ago you told me that I was in this position, I probably wouldn't have believed it. So I kind of boiled it down to a couple of things I did and like a few mindset shifts that happened. So let's go over the list. I'm reading off my laptop at the moment, but basically this time last year, I was going through a breakup, you know, not a very good relationship. Didn't have that many friends. I definitely was nowhere near to achieving my dream life. I was very, very lost. I literally had no idea like, what I wanted to do with my life, what direction I was going. Where am I now? Now I have friends. I have a lot of friends. I am traveling. I have money to do whatever I want. I am in a new city. I'm in Melbourne. I'm living in a beautiful apartment. I know exactly what I want now. And I've already started working on my dreams, my new dreams rather. So it's just really insane how quickly things can shift. You know, it's really interesting, six months ago, which was, let's say like maybe July to October, I definitely was not on that track. And I remember thinking like in August, I was like, yo, I am just gonna write 2021 off because I've achieved absolutely nothing this year. I was like healing from my breakup pretty much the first half of the year. And every day I'd wake up and be like, today's gonna be a different, today I'm gonna work, I'm gonna find, myself and what I have to do and it would just not happen because you know sometimes you can't just like wake up and be like I'm gonna have everything figured out it doesn't really work like that so I was just like yeah 2021 is done 2022 is my year but around October things just really started to shift I think it was a combination of factors number one I kind of like fully healed from my breakup then like didn't give a fuck about it and Around that time, I entered like this delusional period of happiness because I had gotten over it. It was like, holy crap, like what is this free, amazing feeling that I'm experiencing right now? And then from there, I started to really manifest and attract the right things into my life. So let's talk about this. Okay, step one, I had to have a reason to change. Now, my reason to change was the breakup, obviously. You need to find your reason to change. When I had that breakup, I was like, there ain't no way fucking way that I'm staying the same. I need to level up beyond this motherfucker. And I did. So I had a purpose for changing. You need to find your purpose. Number two, I think this is perhaps one of the most important steps, but you need to figure out what you really, really, really want and get so clear on it because I would say in the previous years, I really lost myself, especially like when you get into a relationship at a young age and you're not like, you're not even your full self yet. You can get so lost. So I had no idea who I was, didn't know what I wanted. And over the past year, it became so freaking clear what I wanted. And the more clear I got about it, the more it started to attract to me. Because when you know exactly what you want, you know the steps it takes to get there. And you can also manifest it, right? Because let's just say you get clear. You're like, I want to be a billionaire. I want to be a billionaire. What is going to happen? Number one, your mindset will start to shift. Number two, you might start attracting the right opportunities and people towards you. You start attracting ideas. But if you're just all over the place, oh, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. I don't know what I want. How can you attract anything? Because you can't even get started walking on a particular path to that goal because you don't know what you want. There's not like five versions of you that can like try every single goal. You're not going to get anywhere. So get clear on what the hell you want. Number three, once you get clearer on what you want, things start to happen very naturally and they unfold naturally as I previously said because you start to attract the right things to you. What I will say is be like easy on yourself. Everybody wants to change, but it's not like an overnight thing. I remember when I was 18 and I really, 
I was so young, I didn't really understand growth or anything. I was like, I'm gonna change. And I wrote out a list of things I wanted to become and then I said, in two weeks, I'm gonna be this new person. Obviously it didn't happen, like it just doesn't work like that. But two years later, did I become that person? Yes, I did. Little things here and there, change your mindset, change who you are, maybe that new person you made changes you. It's just a culmination of factors. Number four, something that really helped me was I made a lot of new friends. And how did I do that? I put myself out there. Before, I would never put myself out there. I was afraid to meet new people. And now I love it. I like thrive off of meeting new people. It's just such a fun thing to do. And when you meet new people, you don't know like who's going to be like your business partner, who's going to inspire you, motivate you. Who's gonna, who are you gonna take that next trip with? And you might meet someone on that trip, you know? It's like a butterfly effect. So other people can really help you. Don't knock meeting other people. I used to be like so afraid of meeting other people because I'd be like, oh, I feel like they're gonna misunderstand me. I don't wanna put myself in that position, but it literally doesn't matter. And not everybody has to be in your life forever and not everybody is going to be in your life forever and not everybody's going to be your best fucking friend they just might be an acquaintance hey connection add me on fucking linkedin it's a good connection to have number five i isolated myself against my will because i did lockdown alone for about i think it was three or four months man did i have a damn growth period during that time when you are forced to be alone, you realize so much about yourself. I actually had a video on this. I think it was uploaded in like July. I had an existential crisis. You guys can go watch that video. I can't relate to that video anymore. I'm telling you, everything works out. Somewhere in July 2021, it worked out, babe. Through like that isolation period, I started to like kind of figure out what I wanted and in 2019, I actually purposely isolated myself. I talked about this quite often in my previous videos, but this was like a period I cut everyone off. I only grinded on YouTube during that period because I was like, I want to be a YouTuber. I know what I want. I'm going to go for it. I didn't talk to literally anyone for six months. I just uploaded every week. I had a full-time job in marketing and my routine was literally, I would go nine to five marketing. I would get home at 7 p.m., take a one hour nap, eat dinner and then at 11 p.m. I would start filming a YouTube video, 12 a.m. finish filming it and then I would edit from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Then the next day I would do my schoolwork and then I would go to work. If you don't, if you say you don't have time to achieve your dreams, you're lying because if you really want it, you're going to go after it. End of story. I made sure to upload every single week and I was like, I'm never going to stop until I achieve it. Isolation is great. You don't have distractions. You can figure yourself out. Number six, if you want real growth, you have to innately change yourself. You innately change yourself through experiences. You can't just write it down and be like, this is how I'm going to act. Sure, you can do that, but it's going to be very hard to actually become that person because you need to think, how is that person acting? The person I want to be, how do they wake up in the morning? What do they do? What does their day look like? And I think it's a very, very, very slow process. It's a very, very slow process to becoming that person and it's made up of little habits. But yeah, that's how I changed my life. And it's really crazy to think about how fast things can happen. You never know when they happen. Because like I said, in July or like August, I literally was just like, yep, my year's done. I didn't achieve anything. I haven't done anything. I'm not gonna achieve anything this year, whatever. And then suddenly, things in like, I remember it was a like two, three month period, they just started to shift so much. And as long as you're moving forward, you're going to get somewhere, right? You just got to figure out what that destination is. If you're just stuck, then you're not going to achieve anything. You're not going anywhere. So keep moving forward. I personally feel like I'm a new person every three months. And a lot of people can't relate to that because... Okay, also don't compare yourself to me. I'm in a very different position. Number one, I'm the type of person that does just change a lot through who I am as a person. Number two, I'm in a very different place every three months. So literally mentally and physically because of my job, I move a lot, I meet new people and while other people are just in one position. So don't compare yourself to me, that's another thing. We're different people. What might take me three months might take you a year. What may, might, may take you one year might take me 
two years, who knows? Your only competitor is yourself. I should be a fucking motivational speaker. I'm gonna write a book. I should be a motivational speaker, god damn. Yeah, I feel like I manifested this. It's not like, it's not good enough to just put something on a vision board and be like, okay, I hope it happens. You actually have to take steps to achieve it. And also you need to shift your perspective on life. I see, I, I, I've never seen life as being hard. I see if, the, if a problem comes up or something bad happens, I see it as a very temporary thing. I'm like, okay, this too shall pass. What can I do now to solve the problem? How am I gonna get over it? It will be okay. If you're like one of those people that are like, oh, glass half empty, life is so hard, the world is so brutal, well, that's your outlook on life and maybe you're, you're not gonna have a very fulfilling life then. Life is beautiful and it is wonderful and obviously bad things happen, but it's your perspective on it which is gonna dictate how your life is going to go. You gotta slowly shift who you are. If you have a negative outlook on life, then sorry for you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will hopefully have more funny videos coming soon because I've been doing a lot of serious ones lately and I'm over it. Who is the clownery? Where's the clownery? To be honest, I'm kind of out outgrowing the clownery a little bit. I feel like, you know what? It's my birthday in two days. I'm 22. I feel 22. I do. Last year I felt literally like 12. I'm 22 now, you guys. And let's see where life takes us. Period. Okay, I love you. Ich liebe dich. Have a great day or night. The world would be a better place to live. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Abruja, abruja, abruja. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí Este de aquí me hizo llorar Este otro me dice marica Este otro de mí piensa mal Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan Me caen es por weakness I fucked up, I know that, but Jesus Can a girl just do the best she 